Subscribe for mommy. Hey guys, this is Max Queen. We here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time. So, anyways, in the last episode of this exciting Let's Play, um, we got started on the inside of the Deku Tree dungeon, and in this episode, we will be finishing it up, and we will, well, fighting the, we'll just be fighting the boss and actually just watching the cutscene, which will take forever to watch, but whatever. So, anyways, after you've basically taken care of those freaky geeks over there. Of the after you, t after you kill after you kill some babies, go ahead and head over here and we'll just basically run around here. So as in, well, basically yeah. Well, but also remember this, mommy likes it when you subscribe to me. To <laughs> no, whatever. So anyways, um, before going to the boss fight, remember to check your items, the, your sub item list if you want to representing this. And uh, yeah, that three gold skulls, so three piece, three heart heart con heart containers. And the slingshot, sticks, and the Deku nut, and that's basically it. So, anyways, to fight this boss, well, to get into the dungeon of it, head over here, and well, for the first off, to get to the boss, you might want you might want to push this block on the bottom. This is this block is basically here to get the light lighting of the torch up there, and then you're supposed to roll with the torch, but whatever. Anyways, um, anyways, we've seen this thing before, haven't we? We've seen this little. Like caught a we cottage web on the small thing. Well, you would think you had to like fall on it somehow. Well, no, that's actually not the case. You're supposed to like, get a stick and then roll over it on it, and it burns. But Link also falls. Boom. Link's dead. <laughs> I I don't understand why they why, they should probably put a gold sculpture on one of the walls right there, or whatever. So, anyways, for this first off, you're supposed to hit two, the second one in line. For um for this to work, you're supposed to hit this guy, and then the well, no 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 wait no 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 oh, that's wrong, huh? Well, uh, show for my script. This is what happens when you hit them all in the wrong order. Okay, you might might as well think that you just have to hit them all in some random order. Well, you don't actually. If you hit them all in some random order, uh, this will happen. It, yeah. So, um, remember what that guy told us yesterday about his brothers? Well, he told us uh, a couple days, two days ago about his brothers that you have to hit the second one, the third one, then the first one. So, go to the third one after you get rid of the second one. And kick his ass if you can hit him. I don't know. But anyways, so, anyways, this boss is actually a little bit of a uh, squeak. I'm sure you remember this guy from Twilight Princess. Well, you remember it. We are fighting somebody closer to Armagoma. The fir the boss that Armagoma we're gonna we're gonna fight the boss that Armagoma's based off based off of. We're gonna fight her sister or something like that. They call her she's like Queen Goma or something like that. Oh, I just ruined it. The Arachnid Queen. The the Arachnid Queen. It's kinda of, it's kinda of a scary boss. And I cannot hit this guy today. Why can I not hit this guy? I don't know why. Stop ducking under my nuts! I am throwing a nuts at you! You cannot- Okay, listen. I am getting frustrated here. I want to end this video today. I want to get on with my life. I want to get some relaxation in. I want to get some lunch in. I'm just tired, okay? Thank you for dying. How did you know our secret? How irritating. It's so annoying that I'm going to reveal the secret of Queen Goma to you. In order to administrate the cup dia grace, Queen Goma, strike down, strike down your sword while she's stunned. Oh, Queenie, sorry about that. Ah, don't worry, dude. You s did that to save yourself. So now let's go kill some babies. <laughs> By the way, guys, if you don't subscribe, I'm gonna kill some babies. <laughs> no, but whatever. I just really want some more subscribers. Cause I keep losing them. Why do I keep losing them, guys? I have good videos, and don't say otherwise. Is it because my name's Maskman Wee? Wait, no, I made that name for a reason. I like the name. No one can tell me what to do because it's my show. A man, a man, not said it. <laughs> Well, it's on an old show. The guy choked on, choked on a hot dog. That's right here. Hmm. Link's scared now. What's out there? What's that yellow thing up there? Huh. Is that a vagina? No! It's a pussy! Oh, no. It's a vagina. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. They're the same thing, but whatever. It's Queen Goma. Plastic armor, armored arachnid Goma. Queen Goma, to be exact. Yeah, this is the boss that Armor Goma is based off of. Well, based off of this is like her little sister in that perspective of my thing. It sh this one's a pra prast a plastic 
or plastic. I, I could not read. I can honestly, I can't remember what it said at the beginning. But whatever. It seems as though we have to fight this person. So, anyways, um, she's gonna have some. She's gonna get pregnant. So, I guess we're gonna have to kill some babies. I mean, we already did, but whatever. Well, you know what? I don't want to kill babies. I'm just gonna kill you. Die. Okay. Bam. 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 Yeah. Take that. Yeah. Goodbye. I'm more persuasive than top than Chami Turek. But whatever. We beat him. Wow, that was really hard. Yeah. That's and that's going for you guys. Not that hard of a boss, the first boss of the game. So anyways, let's pick up our well weighted and reward of this thing called a heart container. They give you a full heart. Now we got like four. Let's throw your health at the end too. Kinda got sweaty today. My my like my my skin sticking to my headset. What the fudge is up with that? But I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. Wee. I'm done, Great Deku Tree. Well done, Jared. Well done. That's all I get. F you. I should have just go out there and explode and get put some explosives in your mouth already. Thou hast fairly disterminated thy courage, demonstrated my, thy courage. I knew that thou wouldst be able to carry out my wishes. Now, we're going to tell you the more thou listen. Now, listen carefully. A wicked man of the desert cast this dreadful curse upon me. Wow, that guy looks so unfamiliar. I think it, I think I know his name. Is, is his name Ganon Dick? I think his name's Ganon Dick. Yeah, I think it's Ganon Dick. Or something like Ganon Dick. This evil man seriously uses his vile sources, powers, and search of the sacred realm. For it is in the sacred realm that one will find the divine relic, the Triforce, which contains the assurance of the gods. What the fudge was that? Before time began, before spirits and life existed. Three golden goddesses descended upon the chaos that was Hyrule. Wow. Din, the goddess of power. Nairu, the goddess of wisdom. And let me guess. Pharaoh, the goddess of courage. Womp. Well, this game seems that way. And the, and the naked goddesses all formed together to create the... Oh, whatever. Never mind. They formed together to create a big giant triangle thingy. Din. With her strong flaming arms, she colored the land and created the red earth. It's not red, it's kind of green. Nehru. Powered her wisdom into the earth and gave the spirit of law the wor to the world. What the fudge? My phone is ringing! Oh my gosh! Barrow. Barrow. With her rich soul produced all forms uphold the law of life forms. Well, all life forms. Well, that was kind of funny right there if my phone went off. What the fudge was that? Yeah, I got the AT&T ringtone. Don't bring me. And these three naked things all to form together to create the most powerful thing in the world. A giant naked tri golden triangle shaped thingy. Well, I don't know the official name of this, but let's just call it the Triforce for now. It seems like a good name for it. And the resting place of this triangle had become the sacred realm. Oh. Okay, and we enter out of his mouth. Thou must never allow the desert man in black armor to lay hands on the sacred realm. Thou must never suffer that man with his evil heart to enter the sacred realm. That evil man who cast the death curse upon me. Because of the curse, my end is nigh. Thy valiant efforts break the curse was successfully. I was doomed before you started. Yes, I will pass away soon, but do not grieve. I will have been able to tell you this Hyrule's your the Earth's Hyrule's final hope. Jared, go now to Hyrule Castle. There, thou surely meet the Princess of Destiny. Take this st stone with you, the stone that wanted so much to cast the curse on me for. Wow, shiny! 
pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny, pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Anyways, we got oh, whatever. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I did that the last let's play, but whatever. You got the Kokaris Emerald. This is the spiritual stone of the largest. But I'm not interested in. I don't know. I don't want to speak with your The future depends upon that, Jared. That courage, Navi, the fairy, help Jared to carry out my will. I entreat ye, Navi. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just acting all up weird today. But anyways, seems as though like a tree has passed to its death and it looks kind of creepy you know after i always seen this i always thought it was kind of creepy let's go to highwell castle jared goodbye great deku tree i'd say goodbye old friend but whatever so anyways we are coming up on the end of this episode guys so anyways um this is maskman we here and i am signing off peace out